Hey guys, I'm back here with Chris, and we are going to go over for the Supplement Express Desert Games WAD number two for the intermediate division, both male and female. So as always, you start behind the start and finish line. On three, two, one, go, we're gonna run over to the toes to bar, okay? Both of us will run over. There'll be a short bar and a high bar. You can help your partner up if you need to. Um, and you can be on one side of the bar, on a taller bar or a shorter bar. And again, you can help your partner up if needed. And we're going to be sharing the 24 toes to bar, but it doesn't have to have equal amount of reps or actually any minimum of reps. So if I wanted, I could do all toes, probably on this one, Chris would do all the toes to bar here. Uh, and uh, I don't have to do any. So as long as 24 toes to bar are completed, within the team, we're good with that, and then you can move on. One person working at a time, That's if you correct. are going to share. That's correct, you can't be both on here doing 12 times two for 24, okay? So you have to have one person, you can be, you can use different bars, but you can't be working at the same time, so. Um, and then we move on to the worm clean and jerks. Again, for the worm clean and jerks, uh, the standards are that you have to grab you cannot have any part of your body, your hands or your shoulders that are on this line or in the middle of these two lines. So we both have to stay on our respective side of these worms. Um, and also, both of our feet as athletes have to stay inside of the lane and the worm always has to stay inside the lane. So if my feet touches and I'm doing a rep and I'm here doing a rep, that is a no rep. I have to be inside this line as an athlete. If the worm ends up outside of the line or it falls or we mess up or you're touching, you have to roll it back in <coughs> to start the rep. The worm has to be started inside of that lane. And for the clean and jerks, the rep starts on the ground. The rep finishes on the opposite shoulder and that is the rep finish. So we're gonna do a couple of reps here. We're gonna go to one shoulder, then down, because uh, I have to start the rep on the ground. Now you can do uh, touch and goes or you can drop and pick. Drop and pick or touch and goes is fine with us. So we'll start one rep here. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do two and walk. Two. <laughs> here we go. Two. All right, ready and touch the ground. And then we're done. That was our, our fourth. Now we're walking over. Now we're both in the lane and it has to start on the ground. So we have to drop, make sure it's inside the lane, and then we start in our next four reps and so forth, and then we move on to our 12 reps. After that, we move on to the deadlifts. If you do get a no rep, oh, no. because the feet are outside the line, the worm goes outside the line, you have to restart from the bottom. So if your foot's on the line, and you already have the rep up here, and you get called for a no rep, you have to drop touch the ground and re-pick it back up. Because the rep always starts from the ground. So if there's a no rep called, you're not going to get another rep until the bag hits the ground, okay? So I misspoke, but we're not under the deadlift because we have thrusters, thrusters. right? So um, as we go 12, then we're coming back with the thrusters and the thruster starts from um, the shoulder, is the start of the movement extended, then we go into a squat, and the end of the rep is when it touches the other shoulder. That is the end of the rep. Rep starts on one, standing up. That's one rep. Started, standing up, that's two reps, okay? So we do not have to touch the worm down on the thrusters. So we'll do a couple, do two reps and move. Um, that way, okay, here we go. And then we move forward. And then we can start this rep here again. And stop, okay. So those are thrusters. You have to move every four just like you did the clean and jerks. Um, for the girls, this is big. Um, there was a typo on the workout. So you're not doing 12 clean and jerks, you're doing nine. And you're not doing eight thrusters, you're doing nine. So the guys are doing 12, the girls are doing nine, and you're moving every three, the guys are moving every four. That is what we're doing on the worm thrusters, one, and the worm clean and jerk. So once we're done, we're moving forward onto the deadlifts. <coughs> 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 
This doesn't matter, again, where your feet are on this bar, it's 10 feet. Um, so I can be outside if I need to. The biggest thing we're looking for is full extension of the hips. We understand there's height differences, but that's where the strategy, and, and that's the beauty about it, is that you have to understand how am I gonna get extension? Is it by widening my arms if I'm taller? Or is it kind of giving myself a little bit of a, a bent elbow extension, which we're fine with on the bent elbow, as long as my hips are extended. So we'll do a couple reps. I'm slightly taller than Chris. So if I come out and I hit this guy, that's fine. But what I don't wanna do is do this and Chris is out, okay? I need to make sure I'm here and then we go down for another rep. Those are our deadlifts. We got three rounds of this, okay? We go back to our clean and jerks, move it every four to our thrusters, every four or three if you're a female. Um, this one's gonna be fun, anything else? That's it. Guys, have fun, we'll see you there.